stuck one, stuck one. I'm get tired out there. Take it in the same spot, that way we know if we've gotten this one before. You know where the day started. I'm fishing with Logan today. What do we got going on, Logan? We got lots of baits, maybe too many. But our issue is Dave's here, and I'm lost without Dave. We need to, we need to bring Dave back from Texas, because I got this giant heavy live wall, and I don't have a cart, and I don't have anywhere to keep a cart, so I don't even want a big cart. But I think Logan, we're gonna tie it to Logan's back and have him just walk out onto the jetty with it, but we're gonna struggle our way out to the jetty with that. We got some candy baits, which I'll show you once we get out there. And it should be game on for some snook fishing. It's pretty much go time. Let's see what we're working with in our live well right here. Oh my gosh. You guys have watched the channel. You know what that bait means. That means we're about to get them. Oh, there we go. Stuck one, stuck one. Go out there. That's where we want them to go. Keep going. I think I'm gonna be under you. Right? Or am I over you? Is it us? Oh, you're with someone. Oh, that's a good fish there. No, we don't want to go around the front of that jetty. We don't want to. He's making us. Come on, come on, get off the rock. Off the rock, off the rocks. That is such a bad area. And this guy's pulling on me. Oh, come on. There you go. No, no, you're good this way, this way. Got it? Yeah. Oh, there he is up top. It's a nice one. Try to walk back around. Here is a big set. Hurry up, Joe. You're good, Dave. Oh man, that was just it. I hope he makes it. He might be big. He's a little fatty. He's really fat. Nope. Oh man, that stinks. That sucks. What's the meaning of fat? He's a feisty one, he's little though. Right, I'm gonna just try to get him down this way right away. Try to get him away from all the rocks. There we go, away from the rocks. Thank you very much. Right here is perfect. Whew. Need a little small. A little snooky. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a 25 inch fish or so. So we're gonna let him go. One. Oh man. Oh, come on. That's good fish. Come on, buddy. We really don't want to go around the tip. We might have to. Come on, come back this way. There you go. Come back. Oh, thank you. 
That's a keeper there. That is a keeper snook. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get him over on the comm side. Thank you. Good one, good snook, good snook. Go out past the waves. You're past the rocks. That is we got the dinner snook, Dave. That's him, huh? See, Dave knows how to earn bait. <laughs> He's got him some candy basin coming up for this. Oh! Oh, there you go, dinner That's fish. Her. That's oh, the keeper. That. Beautiful stuff. 30 inch, 31 maybe? Perfect. Oh yeah. There you go, keeper snook. That is the dinner fish right there. We're gonna go put him on the stick, but I already know he's 30 inches. Thought. You got the nose all the way up here, and then you got to pinch the tail on them, and right there, just over 31. Woo! That's that dinner fish. Right. David, how long did that take you? A whole two seconds. <laughs> That's a karma fish right there. A lot of people out here always ask about how do you net your fish and stuff like that and everyone kind of just helps each other out well you got like your group of friends and stuff and like he's fighting that fish he's working him over that way once he gets ready i'll find a net far from one of my friends or actually he's got a net so we'll come over here grab his net and net his fish once he gets it to a safe zone that is not a safe zone up there really hard to net a fish there but we're gonna go help him out we got the over we got the under and then we got the one that was just right it's like the three little bears three little pigs i don't remember what it is but let's do the gear real quick using my 4000 salt x i have the dark green line on here right now i hate it fishing this water because it's dark green water fishing around crowds it makes it really really hard so i don't suggest that i'll be getting the white uh invisibrate again as soon as i can but using the nine and a half foot tsunami salt x surf rod 4000 tsunami salt x spinning reel got 40 pound leader a couple pinch weights a little 30j hook and there's a lot of life behind me, so I think we're gonna go no throw some jigs, see what we can find. Just ran out, got some more baits. Logan's up now. We gave him the lucky rod. Right. We'll see what he can make happen. You've caught three fish since you've been gone. No, you have, you haven't caught any. <laughs> Look at that face. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willie? Logan. Logan on the lucky rod. How many fish did I hook when you were gone? I don't know, man. I caught one on that rod. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Nine that's a nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah, you caught yeah. him on that. Uh, this rod gets around the jetty. A lot of people have used it. Oh my god. You got a good one, Logan. And he caught two. One is on screen, one is on Got a good good one. This is sick. That nine and a half foot rod, it really helps you get the tip out far and let you get up over Flip the rocks a little more. Sure, yeah. yeah, you can definitely help get over the rocks a little bit more. Uh, we got David. I'll get it because I'll, I'll net his fish. I'm to get tired out there. Oh yeah. Coming back in at you. Feels heavy. Dude, that looks like a big fish. Don't palm it, don't palm it. It's only got 30 on. <laughs> no, he's coming up high though. Oh, that's a good one. Nice fish. No. Oh, there you go. Quick release, quick release. That was perfect. We got our keepers. That's all we want. Yeah, good fight. Probably. All right, Logan got us our Goliath. And so for those of you guys who don't know, I do 
DNA sampling for us, the FWC. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on him. Get real close right here. I always try to take it in the same spot. That way we know if we've gotten this one before. And that's all we need right there. And that'll go to the scientists. So I'll take this. So we fished hard, we caught a lot of fish and I had a nice ice slush that this snook sat in overnight. It's super cold, super stiff. I bled it right away and the meat is gonna be good. 